everybody. It's Friday. Time for Facebook Friday. I missed you guys last week. Um, I was in the middle of a full weekend retreat, so um, I did not do li live last week, so I've missed you guys. Um, so I was really looking forward to getting back on today. I have so many things to show you and to tell you. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm in the right place, share this over to my page, and then while we wait for everybody to find us, I want to show you some things. Um, hello, Susan from Lubbock. Thank you for joining me today. All right. So while we're waiting for everybody to jump on, I want to talk to you about the new celebration items coming out. I don't think I've even mentioned it at all to you guys. Um, since it's been two weeks since we've had a live, I think I was waiting. And now I feel like I waited too late. But I want to tell you guys that there's a new set of celebration items coming out on Tuesday. Um, there are five new celebration items and I'm gonna show you them. I have I had a chance this week to make a sample for all of them um, and that way I can show you what they look like. So these um, new celebration items will not show up when you're ordering until Tuesday. So because of that, I'm gonna extend the Facebook Friday deadline this week until Tuesday at midnight instead of Monday at midnight because I know a lot of you are like me and you have all the celebration items already and you're waiting for new things. So now we've got five new things and if you wanna put in another order, um, you are more than welcome to wait till Tuesday or you can do it this weekend, whatever you want. Uh, but I thought I would, sh I would extend it one day. Um, okay, so let me show you. There are, um, three level one items, which means free with a $50 purchase, and two level two items, free with a $100 purchase, and I'm afraid I'm gonna tell you the wrong thing, so I'm gonna open up and make sure that I'm telling you the right thing. Okay, the first one, let me show you my favorite. It's a stamp set called Rise and Shine. Do you guys recognize the coffee cups? Those were the Cup of Christmas dies from the holiday catalog. So yay, a new stamp set to go with those. This is a level two. It'll be free with a $100 purchase. You can see it's got a lot of stamps in it and uh, super cute. Let me show you my card. Um, this is a swap card I made and I think this is gonna be next week's Facebook Friday. I've already got a second project almost done. So I think this will be next week. So if you like that, you can get it free with a $100 order starting on Tuesday. Now here's another one that's gorgeous. And let me make sure, let me look. This is also a level two. It's a really big stamp set. And this one um, called Tags and Bloom, it matches with the pretty label. What's it called? I can't even remember now. Label Me Fancy, the Label Me Fancy. You know our new punch like that? Really cool. So here's my card. If you're in my stamp club to go, you'll see this in March. This is going to be one of your projects. Um, really pretty, really fun. Um, I just really like the way those flowers are. And you can see that it comes, you don't have to color the flowers. It comes with the stamps to stamp the color in the flower. Awesome, right? All right, so that's another one. And then there's one more stamp set, and it's a masculine stamp set, and this is a level one, so free with a $50 order. Really good dude stamp set. Um, no sentiments, but that's okay. We've got tons of sentiments. Let me show you, I made two different cards. Here's one with a little tie, and I pulled sentiments from, um, I used two different stamp sets and now I can't remember which ones they were, but it says congratulations on that thing you did. I'd give you a standing ovation, but here's a card instead, right? We always need masculine cards, at least I do and I never make them. So there's one. And then here's another one. I actually made two. I just made this one a little, a little while ago and I thought the sentiment was perfect for those watches. Time for a new adventure. Clever, right? I always like to look for sentiments that we have that go with something else. It's like a little treasure hunt with stamps. Okay, now the next two things are paper. All right, um, designer series paper. The first one I'm gonna show you is very similar to paper we had last year. I think it was last year. Um, it's called Flowering Foils, and it is free with a $50 purchase. Now I have cut up mine. I just have, mine's all cut up, so it's, kind of messy but here's one you can see it's got that gold and silver embossed and so you can color it this one I love you guys will know I love check 
That one's really cool. It's rose gold, by the way, not gold, but rose gold. Was it two years ago, Catherine? Yeah, I was thinking it was last year, and then I thought, mm, that feels like it was longer than that. But it's similar to another celebration paper that we had and that we all loved. There's that one. And then one other one, which is right here. All right, so foil paper. That would be a great wedding paper. So that is another option that you can get for free. Let me show you my two cards that I made with it. This first one uses two of them. I cut out the flowers and colored them with blends and layered them over that, that I mean, I guess it's not gingham, but it kind of looks like gingham, checkered um, pattern in the background. And then this one is a little more simple. I just used that paper and I popped up one of those flowers and used just a big, bold sentiment. So fun, fun, fun. I love when we get free paper. And there is four designs, three of each in the pack. I like when they do that too. We get more, I feel like. Um, a little more stretch out of our pack. Now the next one is called So Very Vellum, I believe. Yep, So Very Vellum. And they're 12 by 12 vellum sheets. Um, purple Posy, Soft Sea Foam, and Pool Party. Did I get that right? Soft seat. Yeah, I did. And there's three of each also, two of each. I don't know. I, it'll say, but I ha I just cut my neat. Two of each, three colors. All right. And that's a level one free with a $50 order starting on Tuesday. I have two cards. Oh, this one got a little squish. Let me fluff it up. Can you see it in the background? It's real soft, really pretty purples. And then this one, I think this is my favorite. Look at that. I used that, that new braided punch there, and I put the, the um, vellum there. And then this is the new die, the coordination die that just came out. It's kind of a, kind of a, not a simple card, we'll say that. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Five new celebration items coming out on tu Tuesday. So if you wanna put in order to get your free, cele uh, free make and takes from today, you can wait till Tuesday. I'm gonna extend the deadline till Tuesday at midnight. Usually it's Monday at midnight. And I'll post a link so you guys can see the brochure. Um, the, cele the new celebration brochure. Now all the other celebration items are still available except for the kit and the twine and sequins. Those are sold out. But both the honeybee paper and the lily impressions designer series paper, um, I think that's what it's called. Those are still available, which is excellent. And all the stamp sets, of course, are still available. Okay, now I've got more to show you, so don't go away yet. First off, have you guys, did you guys get the paper pumpkin this month? I haven't even done it. I took it to the retreat and I didn't do it. I have several extra of them this month. If you want one, let me know. This is this month's paper pumpkin. Really, really pretty. Everybody at the retreat was doing it. Big stamp set. All right, if you want one, message me or email me. It comes with a Rococo Rose ink spot this month. All righty, I've got several left. I did sell some at the retreat, but I do have some left. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch around so that I can show you the next few things, okay? Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do, yeah, okay. So, nothing fancy, everybody close your eyes, you're going for a ride. I'm gonna flip you guys around, there we go. So the retreat was so much fun. It took me several days to recover. <laughs> I stayed up late, got up early, had fun. It's so much fun seeing so many people from all over the place, all over the country, really. New people, as well as people that I know that I don't get to see very often. So it was really, really fun. Um, I have posted pictures yesterday on my blog, um, and I have another set of pictures that'll be coming soon too on my blog if you'd like to see them. Okay, let me talk to you about my two classes for March, okay? Oh, Pamela says best paper pumpkin yet. You know, I was hearing that a lot at the retreat. Everybody who was uh, doing the paper pumpkin were like loving it. So it's a beautiful one. And the next one for March is going to have two stamp sets in it. So you guys, you really should subscribe. It's really cute. It's got something to do with rain boots and birthday, I think. So really cute. Okay, so hopefully you saw my post and my video about my Easter treats class to go. This is Easter, for some reason, my Easter treats class is like my 
most popular class all year, which to me is funny because I never think that it's going to be because I don't really make a lot of Easter treats. I do Valentine's and Halloween, but Easter I don't. But you guys seem to love the Easter treats classes. So this one, um, I'm doing this class free with an order. Um, the, here's the host code, okay? The details are all on my blog. I want you to, if you want this class, go over there and read it. Um, we're using both the Welcome Easter. Can you guys see the Welcome Easter and the Full of Happiness stamp set? There are six projects. Um, we're going to color our ribbon with blends. Um, you're going to get a free bolt of ribbon with your order when I send you the make and takes. Okay, so the deadline for that's pretty quick because Easter is coming up. I believe I now I can't. What what's wrong with me? I can't remember anything today. Um, but right here today on at pinkbuckaroo.com, you can find this PDF as well as at the bottom of the post. You can find the link for this class if you're interested. Okay, so hop over there, get it? Hop your way over there and find out the details. That order can't be combined with a Facebook Friday order. They have two different host codes, okay? So just so you know. Next class. This is all of our retreat projects plus pillow gifts and bonus projects. That's what this class is. Dress to impress, um, class to go. So many of you wanted to take advantage of the retreat um, and we had a very limited number. So I've turned it into a class to go. Um, it will include six projects. It's product heavy. You're going to get a pack of paper, a pack of petal pink rhinestones, a pack of lovely lip lipstick ribbon, and six make and takes. Also, you're going to get a PDF with the tutorials for all, six more projects, so 12 all together. And there is a tutorial only option if you don't want the class kit, all right? I just uploaded this one last night. Make sure you go check it out. And um, it will be um, there. It, this one is not free with an order. This one you actually have to register for. Sorry, I read comments and then I forget what I'm saying. Um, this one you have to send me an email to register for, okay? Okay. All right, let's see. Um, I made up a new little kit today to show you what you can get in the starter kit. I have had so many awesome new Sweet Stampeders. Um, the Celebration Starter Kit Special is awesome. You guys know, $99, you get $125 in product of your choice. So this time I picked out the Parisian paper, the Parisian stamp set and dies, and the embossing folder, a set of blends, this awesome punch, and the matching stamp set. All of that, you get up to $125 for $99, right? That's how it always is. But during celebration, you also get an extra stamp set. And I always say, guys, find the most expensive one on your list. Here's Rooted in Nature. I think that's actually our most expensive uh, stamp set. So check it out. You could add that one for free. And then you also get the baby trimmer for free, which we're going to use. I'm going to pull it out and a paper sampler. So don't forget about it. If you're really, if you've been thinking about it, don't let celebration pass you by without taking advantage of that because it is an amazing deal. Um, it goes through the end of March. You have until the end of March, then you get a discount on all your orders or you make 20% on all the orders your friends place under you and you get to take advantage of so many other benefits. The benefits of being on my team, you get all my PDFs for free, um, you get class uh, kits at a discount, all right? So think about it, $99, that's it, free shipping. All right, how about some prizes? Oh wait, nope, 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 hold on. I need to remind you too of the all-star tutorial bundle if you want to be a subscriber and get this in your mailbox on the first of every month um tomorrow saturday february 29th leap day is the very last day you can subscribe for this round we turn the subscription off at the end of the first month which is tomorrow so the deal is if you subscribe you get the fifth month for free okay so make sure you check that out here's my project this month this round we're doing we're all using the same bundle or suite of products um, for our tutorial so this one um, for February is the peaceful poppies and I've been getting really good feedback from it so thank you guys um, make sure you look for it you can get this for free also when you order $50 online with me um, I send it to you for free 
And you can also buy just one at a time in my PDF store if you're interested in that. Okay, now let's do door prizes. Um, I picked two people who shared my video last week. Nope, two weeks ago. And the random winners are Gail Boyd and Kathy Schmidt. I don't think I have either of your addresses, ladies. So please um, message me your address, okay? So I can get these out to you. Let me see. what I'm, I'm being distracted by the comments. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think April Easter is later this year. It's not April 5th. I believe it's April 12th is right. Um, <laughs> Teresa is saying, yes, buy the starter kit. It's an awesome opportunity. And Barbara says it qualifies for the celebration items too, right? Barbara, um, I don't know. Are you asking about the starter kit? In the starter kit, you do not get celebration items because you're getting all the other free stuff. It's a much higher value and free stuff that you're getting in the celebration. I mean, in yeah, in the celebration starter kit. Then you can put your order in afterwards, get your discount, and earn your celebration items. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just really an awesome deal. All right, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I do three projects. This week we're doing the So Sentimental Bundle. If you like the projects and you want me to send them for to you for free, you can put in an order, minimum $35, by Tuesday at midnight. This week I'm extending it one day so you guys can take advantage of the new celebration items. And then I will send you all three make and takes for free. Um, this is a thank you tag. It is not a pre-stamped image. It has nothing to do with the projects. It's a thank you tag. Um, if you get the make and takes, you have to have the stamps and the ink and the adhesive. Okay, I send you the consumables. There are no pre-stamped images in these, but they are free um, with a minimum $35 order and that host code by Tuesday, March, what is that, 3rd at midnight. All right, oh, and this week, I have three door prizes this week, so share away, ladies and gentlemen. Three of these hilarious stamp sets, thanks for the laughs. Um, the one I love is, no one will ever be as entertained by us as us. Isn't that funny? That makes me think of, you know, those belly laughs you have with your friends. This is a great sentiment stamp set, so I have three of them. All you have to do is share the, the video on Facebook, and you'll be entered to win. All right, I've cleared my desk. We are ready. Make sure you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com. You will find this PDF right here. I type these up every week. It has all three projects we're gonna make, all the um, item numbers and prices of everything that I've used. And then at the bottom, there's always the measurements. Today we had a lot of measurements, so you'll need those, okay? All right, let me get a drink. That was, that was a lot of words today. This week I had, well, no, I, that's a lie. I didn't have trouble. I had two projects I wanted to make and I needed to narrow them down to what stamp set to use on all of them. Um, so I decided to use the So Sentimental stamp set. This is an awesome stamp set because the, the words, the sentiment is actually kind of like your focal point. Sometimes the words are like the last thing we add on, um, kind of as an, you know, a last, thinking, you know, all the art and stuff is pretty, but these can actually be the art in your project. Um, they're big and bold and fancy, and they coordinate with these awesome dies. Um, I am obsessed with these dies. I've been using them for every single project, it feels like, and it's a really, really good addition to your, your die collection, because even if you don't use them with a stamp set, you will use them for lots of things. Okay, well, let's get started. I want to tell you that two of these projects were inspired by two different people at my retreat. Um, it's so fun if you've never been to a retreat. It's so fun to go and see, walk around and see what everybody's making. You get lots of ideas. And so my friend Kimberly, who was the queen of making projects at the retreat, if you guys have seen the picture of her, she made like a thousand projects. Um, this was one that she had made. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make that. Um, now hers was a Christmas themed one. Um, and I decided to make it a baby themed one. So this one could be a um, baby shower uh, party favor. You could even put like a gift card in there if you want, you know, like if you're giving a gift with some candy or you can completely change it and make it not baby. Put a different sentiment on it, happy birthday, thank you, whatever. And you can just put little treats in there, all right? Now I'm using the pleased 
as punch. I keep wanting to call this pick a pattern and it's not. Please as punch designer series paper. And when I made this um, at the retreat and I got this paper and I held it up to both blushing bride cardstock and uh, petal pink cardstock, I could have sworn that it matched blushing bride. But now under these lights, it's totally petal pink. So whatever, I think it's fine. We're using Blushing Bride, you can use Petal Pink. The ribbon is Petal Pink, it coordinates, it's fine, whatever. But I know some of you can't stand to mix. So just let, just letting you know that it looks different under different colors and both the colors are listed as colors used in this paper. So it's a little bit tricky. All right, well let's make our box first. You're gonna need, let me get my paper so I can see. This one has a lot of measurements. So you gotta, you gotta make sure that you are reading it correctly. Um, this is a piece of Blushing Bride, seven and a half by 10. I'm gonna score the short side at one and three fourths and five and three fourths. Then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna score it at three fourths of an inch, two and a fourth, four inches, five and three fourths, seven and a half and nine and a fourth. See, that's a lot of measurements. Don't worry, if you didn't write it down, just go print the PDF. Um, now look at this, I have to show you guys. My downline, Denise, um, my downline Lisa sent me a treat this week in the mail and she made this little holder for a new bone folder. She had my name put on it and everything. She said she thought I needed a new bone folder. And I was thinking, I don't know why she thinks I need a new bone folder. <laughs> Look at my old ones. Yeah, I use those to re-ink my ink pads. Lisa, thank you so much. It was so cute and such a little sweet surprise. All right, so you're going to need your bone folder. Your bone folder is going to help you make these um, score lines nice and crisp. All right, and you're just going to run it down. I sometimes don't use a bone folder. Yes, you can just use your fingers um, because I'm A, either lazy or B, I don't know where my bone folder is, <laughs> but it really does make a difference and it'll make all those lines nice and crisp. All right, now we're gonna do some cutting. And by the way, you guys, I have recorded, I gotta get a different pair of scissors. I have recorded clean recordings of these already. They're already on YouTube. I just need to make them public, okay? So if you're gonna come back, if you wanna make this later and you don't wanna have to, you know, try to figure it out through all the Facebook Live chit chat, then you'll be able to find that clean recording on YouTube, okay? Now I'm gonna cut out the two pieces on each of the four corners, okay? So here, 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 and here. I'm just gonna cut those off. Thanks, Denise, I appreciate it. And Sam, you're having trouble with the internet. Yeah, I know. You never know. You never know when it's going to work. It's not going to work. All right, so here it is. This is what it looks like. Now, we're not going to cut these score lines from this edge. We're going to cut them in from here. All right, so take your scissors and cut these lines like that. Oop, that one is not straight. Oh, well. If you what worried about getting them straight, put it in your trimmer and do it with your trimmer. You could get it nice and straight. That one's gonna be funky, but okay. Oh well. All right, now before we put it together, grab your detailed trio punch. Can never ever remember the name of this punch. It has a corner rounder, and we're going to round the corners. And I can see on my PDF, I, I it, there's a typo. It says detailed trim punch. Well, I know that's not what it's called. All right, there we go. So we've rounded those, and now we can put it together. I'm gonna use my tear and tape today. Um, now, we've folded all the lines this way, so this is the inside. We're gonna put the adhesive over here on the outside, okay? So, you can use, you know, whichever adhesive you prefer. Tear and tape, um, Tombow liquid. Um, do not use snail, it will fall apart. Snail is 
really just for cards. Um, fast Fuse, if you have any, which is old. But I like Tear and Tape, although I have been really using the Tombow a lot lately. But for, for the sake of a video, it takes a while to dry. All right, now we're gonna turn it over, fold these in. Whoa, don't stick to the paper. All right, we're gonna fold them like this and then just fold these up and press that into the side like that, okay? Really easy to put together, really, really easy. And there you have it. You see how that went into the sides like that? Then this goes together like this and voila, all right? Now, you could do two things here to, to uh, hold it together. I like to just grab a clothespin and just do a clothespin. Guys, I have no idea. These are from like leftover kits, from Walmart, from whatever, um, and they will hold it together. You could use a regular clothespin, you could use a binder clip, whatever you want, because most of it's gonna be covered up. Um, you could also punch a hole here and here and uh, thread your ribbon through and tie a bow. The only thing I don't like about that is it makes it hard for the person to put it back together. With a clip, it's just easy to snap together, right? Okay, now I have cut a little piece of the Pleased as Punch designer series paper, the gingham. I thought that just really looks like a baby. So cute. And then I'm gonna punch, this is the other side. I'm gonna punch one of these um, hearts, and this is where I'm telling you it's there's um, Petal pink and blushing bright in here. So either one, that, either color you use, I think you're gonna be just fine. All right, now we're gonna do um, our koala. Let's look, this koala is straight from designer series paper. No stamping, no coloring. I'm just gonna cut him. It's the birthday bonanza paper. And if you have the birthday bonanza dies, it coordinates and cuts it right out, which we always love, makes things easier. I'm gonna stamp the tiny little Hello Baby. This is one of the smallest stamps in the stamp set. And then I'm gonna grab the die right here, the tiny little label die, and it's gonna cut that out, okay? So get your big shot, your die cut machine, whatever you have. Let's move those out of the way. I love that paper too, Sam. I'm obsessed with it. I used it in my Easter class. I also used it for another class I did at the retreat, um, which I haven't, I don't know if I'm gonna do it because the paper, who knows? We'll have to see how long the paper lasts if it sells out because it's an out of publication paper, which means once it's gone, it's gone. I'm hoping they ordered way too much of it and we have it for a long time. There's our little koala. All right, let's move this guy out of the way. I need like a little side table for my big shot. He always goes in random places and then I can't find him. All right, so two and a fourth inch circle. We need some regular dimensionals, which I had. Hmm, I guess I'll open a new set, a new pack of dimensionals. And we're gonna layer all of this up with dimensionals. All right, so I'm gonna put the heart over on the left side, hanging off a little bit. And then I'm going to put my little koala guy, or girl, right there. And then our little hello baby, right here, sticking out like that. So cute, so, so cute. Take your clothespin. Put your dimensional there and put it on like that and you can close your thing and there you have it. Now, of course, we need a bow. Hello. We always need a bow, but especially on a little pink baby treat box. And this is that petal pink ribbon. I know it's either on, I think it's on back order right now, but it'll be back soon. Don't worry, it'll be back soon. Don't throw eggs at me, I know. All right, now I'm gonna just use a little glue dot, put it right there. And there you have it. What do you guys think? 
so cute and really not very difficult at all. I think it would be cute. Now we do have gingham paper in our, um, in our little, did I, I forgot to tell you guys, this is the heart punch from the heart punch pack. That's what I use to punch these out. Um, we do have gingham paper right in our color stacks, our uh, design series paper for the color families. So you could do this in a blue with that paper. You could do it in a yellow if you didn't know what the baby was. I love it. All right, now let's get on to the next one. The next one is my favorite. Look how cute. This is a little basket that this a adorable lady at our retreat. I called her the wrong name and it was super funny and embarrassing, but her name is Rhonda. Not my friend Rhonda, another Rhonda. She was making a ton of these um, for her church. And I was like, you have got to show me how to make this. This is so stinking cute. And it really is very easy. Here's one also in the pink. I made this one in the pink just to practice. I'm telling you that paper just so fun. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make that. Let me get all my stuff. The first thing you're gonna need is a Coastal Cabana three and a half inch by three and a half inch square. Okay, three and a half inches. Yes, Easter basket, super cute, but it doesn't have to be an Easter basket. You know what else I was thinking? If you did it like in um, crumb cake and you use the basket weave in the fall and then put our little like our apple punch or the pumpkin punch. How stinking cute would that be? Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with it. Okay, three, uh, three and a half by three and a half. We're going to score it at half an inch on all four sides. And then grab your bone folder and burnish those lines. I've got some random fiber there. all four sides. Now you're going to snip those um, little squares, that little line on two sides. It doesn't matter which two, just two opposite sides. All right, then get your tear and tape. And I actually used Tombow for this, but it does take a few minutes to dry. So we'll just do tear and tape. Rhonda told me that the key to this project is to use a lot of tear and tape. So that's what I did and she's right. It really holds everything together. All right, so now let's get these off. This one's a little bit too long, but that's okay. You can just fold that adhesive right back onto it. And this is the this is the bottom of your Easter basket or your basket, not Easter basket, it doesn't have to be Easter. Um, and it's not gonna be seen not going to be visible so don't worry if your edges don't match up that's what I like so much about hers is that it looks so nice and neat all right now fold these squares up into those sides okay like that so you've made just a shallow little box all right you guys see that whoops now cut your designer series paper this is pleased as punch um, three by 11 and take your tear and tape and run it along one long side and one short side. Be generous with your tear and tape. And we're going to peel this off. All right, we're going to peel this off. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Third time's a charm. There we go. Get that one off and then this one. Well, goodness gracious. There we go. Now, we're gonna start with the edge that doesn't have the, the short sticky side, okay? And I'm gonna start kind of in the middle and I'm gonna line it up at the bottom edge of our little box and I'm just going to wrap it around like this, matching that bottom edge all the way around. All right, and then when you get over here, you've got that adhesive there, so it's going to stick. Okay, so there you have that. Now you need two, uh-oh, oh, 
Oh, darn it. I just dropped that little tag, and it's going to be very hard to find. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. Technical difficulties. It fell. I thought it fell into a bag of catalogs. That was going to be hard to find. Um, half an inch by 11 inch, two of these, Coastal Cabana. Again, be very generous with your tear and tape because this is going to, what's going to hold it all together. You don't want things popping off, especially when it gets rainy and humid in the spring. Okay, peel that off. And we're going to start the same way down here. We're going to match that little edge right there back here where the seam is and go all the way around. So this right here is going to cover up any uneven edges on your box or your paper and just give it a really good finished look. That little green fiber keeps getting stuck to everything. It's from the next project. <laughs> You'll see in a minute. All right, now fold that over like that. All right, now the next one is going to go at the top of the basket in the same way. Okay. Starting in the same way over here. Matching it on the edge. Like that. There's Kimberly. I was talking about you, Kimberly. My first project was a copy of your project. All right, all the way around like that, and there's our basket. All right, now, it looks like a, no, we're not gonna look at that, it's a little bit crooked. That's all right, that's all right. Take the next piece, half an inch by eight and a half, and curl it like that. Break it down a little bit with your bone folder. Again, we're using the bone folder a lot today, you guys. It's 10 bucks, you need to add it to your next order. All right. And I did not put that on the supply list. I always forget to put those basics on there. Then a little tear and tape. All right. And now we're going to, <laughs> why is it crooked? We're going to put that inside like that, like that. Now, um, Rhonda, I keep wanting to call her Donna, but her name is Rhonda. She put little brads on those right there, which was so cute. So you could do that. And that would really hold those on for sure. They're not gonna come out. So that's your basic little basket design. All right, now let's make the tag. I have cut out a blushing bride. Um, this one right here, the second one. Okay, so there's that. Then we're gonna use this one, the third one. And we're gonna cut out this little yummy licious which is really cute and hi Dina thank you and I'm going to stamp first in coastal cabana and then I'm going to clean it with my ugly dirty chamois and let's close that open that I'm going to layer these two so that we have kind of a two colored sentiment. It's going to be really cute. Move this out of the way and we'll bring the big shot back. I've worked myself once again into a tiny little square on my desk. <laughs> Every time. Huge six foot table but yet only a six inch workspace. I bet you guys do that too. Thanks for sharing, Jenny, I appreciate it. All right, so you see how that lined up perfectly around those words, perfectly. All right, so we've got that. Now we're gonna cut this one. We're gonna layer it. And when I, when I type my tutorials and I do this, I always say, cut the paper to the width and the height of the word, which just means Cut around the word, all right? In case you're wondering, yes, I took the guard off my little cutter, my little trimmer, because I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Y'all are gonna remind me of that someday when I chop the end of my finger off. All right, so we've cut that one out of Calypso, and we're just gonna take a dimensional, put 
put that right there, that right there. And last but not least, let's get a couple of rhinestones. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. Earlier when I did this in my clean recording, I had too much putty and it totally like sucked up the, the rhinestone up into the putty. <laughs> I was like, that was weird. Too much putty. Can't have too much putty. All right, layer this right there. And I'm gonna put two dimensionals right there. And voila. Now, of course we need a bow. Hello. And yeah, don't throw eggs at me, I know. This one's unorderable right now, but it'll be back. All of my honeybee class people look for an email from me. It's a very sad day. We have to wait till the honeybee ribbon, till this ribbon is back. I'm sending you an email. Um, but don't worry, it'll be back soon. And I think it's important, very important part of our projects. Look how cute it is, the ruched ribbon. And I'm going to put it right there. I debated on putting it there, but I decided to put it there. All right, what do you guys think? Let's look at this one. This one's better than the one I just made. So cute. And you could use all that um, please as punch paper and they would be all different. Isn't that cute? You could do the one that has the hearts and the hearts could go around it. I know, it's so cute. What do you guys think? And easy too. We have to all say thank you to Rhonda for teaching me how to do that. I've done things similar to that, but this one was just adorable. And the key there, don't forget, the key is to use lots of tear and tape to hold it together. All right, good, I'm glad you like that. Let's do one more. We're gonna do a fancy fold. Um, and this time I, I went hot pink and granny apple green. And this card, after I made it, I realized I should have made it a gift card holder because when it opens like this and like this you could even you could put a pocket right here for a gift card or a pocket right here for a gift card and I didn't do it but you guys you should do it if you make this card okay so super cute and I'm going to show you how to make it see that there's that scalloped rectangle all right first things first though my very favorite the buffalo background check buffalo background stamp so we're going to get that out yeah, Robin, you need to make those for your granddaughters. How cute would that be? It's perfect. It doesn't hold too much candy if you put that grass in there. We're also using the Gangs All Mirror. Do you guys have this yet? It's a free celebration item. So cute. We're not using the little mirror cat, though. We're going to use the cactus and the lizard. All right, but first, first things first, let's do our um, buffalo check. I'm so nervous. When, this time of year, as we get closer to the annual catalog, when things retire, which we'll find out in April, I start getting nervous about my favorites. Do you guys think the Buffalo background check will retire? I don't know. It's been around for a couple of years now. I hope not. All right. A piece of Melon Mambo cardstock. Um, and we're going to just use Melon Mambo ink. All right. And the key here, guys, is to make sure that your ink pad is juicy. If your ink pad isn't juicy, you're gonna have some trouble with your background stamp onto colored cardstock. You're not gonna get a really good solid image. So make sure you ink those up before you use your background stamps. And then push down hard, stand up, get out of your chair and push, put all your weight on it, okay? And then open it up and there you have it. Now. When I when it does colored cardstock, I don't know if you guys can see through the camera, but it leaves kind of a speckly, um, it doesn't have as solid as it does on Whisper White. So I'm gonna ink it again and do it one more time. And because we have it in place with these magnets, it'll line up perfectly. Oh, Catherine, the lizard is so cute. Oh, hi, mom, Millie can hear me. And she's barking, no, she's not. Is she really? Millie is my mom's puppy, you guys. The one that I babysat yesterday, if you're watching my Instagram stories. She was very puppy yesterday. <laughs> she, um, I had to run and get my hair done while she was here and you know, my two old guys were babysitting her while I was gone. And by old guys, I mean my 10 year old schnauzers. 
And when I came back in, as soon as I walked back in, I see all this stuff all over the floor, like debris. And I, I went <gasps> like that. And the two old guys immediately hightailed it out. One ran outside and the other ran, ran into his kennel. And they knew. They told Millie she was in big trouble. It was funny. She wasn't really in big trouble. She had, I had a basket of, you know, those like wicker decorative balls. I had a basket of those on that was sitting on the floor. So of course she thought they were toys. They were balls and she likes to chase the ball. It was just so funny. Millie, naughty girl. All right, so I'm cutting this out with a stitched rectangle. This is not in the Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is the stitched right rectangle dies. All right, and then look, you have enough to do two. So I'm gonna save that for later. And I should have, because I was talking, I wasn't thinking, let's, before we put that big shot down, let's stamp this. Um, I can't thank you enough. I'm gonna do it in memento black. These are red rubber ink, uh, red rubber stamps, so you could use stays on here too if you'd like. But I'm using Memento because in a minute I'm going to stamp that little cactus and that little lizard. And that ha those have to be in Memento because we are coloring them with alcohol markers. Oh my gosh, Vicki, you have two schnoodle puppies and one is named Millie. Oh, schnoodles. How cute. Oh my gosh. Um... Millie was my mom's mom's name. That was my grandmother's name. So that's how she came up with that name. I thought it was a cute idea. All right, let's put this card together. Now remember, all of these measurements are over there on that PDF. Darn it, you know what I did? I used the wrong paper to cut that out. Okay, well, we're going to have to stop and cut another piece of Whisper White. This was for that, see? And the one I stamped it on was for the inside. That's okay. It's just Whisper White. All right, here is the card base. It is four and a fourth. Let me look, because I always forget. Four and a fourth by eight and three eighths. And I scored it at five and a half, okay? Got a rhinestone there. And it's just gonna fold in like that. It is a sweet name, Vicki. Very sweet. All right, we're gonna put this right here on that front panel. Now, I have cut out this granny apple green stitched scalloped rectangle there's a lot of words in that um this is the largest die let's see yes the largest die and then here's our um pleased as punch designer series paper put that right there um now this is our hinge suddenly i forgot what we were doing <laughs> i was like what's that piece this is our hinge i've made a little hinge and this one is three by two and a half. Okay, so on the three inch side, I scored it at one and a half. So I'm gonna put some adhesive right there on one side, and I'm gonna turn this guy over, and I'm gonna put it as far up as I can without it being shown behind those scallops. Okay, now I'm gonna put adhesive there. I love these colors too, Robin. So here we go, you guys see how I have it? And I'm gonna lay that right here. I don't want the scallops to go past the edge of the card. So you gotta line that up, make sure it's, uh-oh, make sure it's in the middle. Let me go a little bit more this way, like that. All right, and there it is. See how that opens? All right, now I'm gonna have to cut a new piece of white. I think I've got some right here, let's see. See what happens when I start talking. I. I mess up. I can only do one thing at a time. And talking is included. <laughs> I can only do one. All right, here's a piece of Whisper White. Four by five and a fourth. And I'm going to stamp our little cactus in memento. Like I said earlier, if you're going to color with alcohol markers, you have to use a water-based ink, and that's what memento is. And then the little lizard. Now... Let's color. Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna use the bullet end of Granny Apple Green Light. And I'm just gonna coat the whole cactus first with a light color. And I'm gonna leave it open because I'm not done with it. 
I'm going to come over here and outline those lines really, or kind of over to the side of each line with a dark granny apple. Then I'm going to go back with my light and just blend it all together. Also, I like to give it kind of a dark shadow on the bottom like that. All right. Now, put your glasses on so you can see this tiny little lizard down here. I've got to go get my eyes checked. Color him all in light and then just use the dark for those cute little spots. Now, we do not have a Melon Mambo Stampin' Blend, but Lovely Lipstick Dark is pretty darn close. So we're just gonna use that. All right, and now, as my mother always told me, you have to ground your images. You can't let them float around in space. So get your crumb cake light and just kind of draw, you know, a little, little sand there in the desert. I'm gonna get the dark also and go underneath this guy, underneath this guy, little shadow. And I was a little heavy handed, so let me go back and blend that in a little bit. All right, there we go. So cute, so cute. I say it a hundred times a day, so cute. Now we're gonna put this in here and it's gonna, whoa, it's gonna overlap that hinge right there. All right, see how that does? And you can't really even see the hinge. All right, let's layer it up. We have got a basic black label. This is the largest label in the Stitch So Sweetly dies. That name's weird. I can't remember that name. It just needs to be Stitched Scalloped Rectangles and Stitched Labels. <laughs> It needs to be simpler. All right, so that's a black one. Here's the, I can't thank you enough, right there. All right, now we're gonna get that, where did I have it? Right here, Basic Black Stampin' Blend. The Basic Black Stampin' Blend Dark is so dark. I don't use it a whole lot, but you can use it to color your pearls and rhinestones for projects like this, and it makes them very dark. All right, so see how I just colored them? I'm gonna give them a few seconds to dry. And while I'm doing that, let's get this ribbon. My scissors are having a problem. Hopefully they'll cut. My, I need to have my scissors clean, they're sticky. I don't know how they got sticky. Here is the Granny Apple Green woven ribbon. I love this ribbon, but it's really too bulky for a card to tie a big bow. So I'm gonna cut it down long ways like this. I like to do this to my ribbon specifically because it makes it kind of messy looking. It has all these little fibers that come out. That's what was sticking to my other project. Um, these little fibers come out. When you tie it, it looks a little messy and I like it. See all the little fibers coming out? All right, so do that. And you get, you know, twice as much um, length out of your ribbon when you cut it in half. And then I kind of even just like to pull some of them out so they look like that. Um, years ago, you could buy, maybe you still can, but it was real trendy. You could buy packs of fibers to use on your paper crafts, on your scrapbooking. And I had a ton of those. All right. Put this up here like that with a glue dot. Then, you know, I think either if we made this heavier with a gift card, it would stay down, or we need to put one of those little button magnets on it. Hmm, it won't stay closed. All right, those little black pearls, right there, just two of them, and right there. And voila! How cute. I love these colors, like Robin said. I love these colors. I think that when I did my other card with a meerkat, these are the colors I used too. Just randomly, how that how that happens. I think, didn't I? I did. What do you guys think? Really cute, right? And I think it does need a magnet to hold it closed. Now I have a couple of other cards before we are, before we are completely finished today. Wow, I got done five minutes early. I thought I was gonna be late today. Um, 
where I've used those labels. I showed you guys this one when the um, the product coordination stuff came out, came out, but here is the large label, and then here is the large stitch scallop rectangle, okay, in vellum. Then here is um, the ladybug card I did uh, back way in January, and there's that label we just used, and that other label we just used, and then I layered it on, we have another set of stitched labels in the annual catalog, so it's on top of that. Don't you love all the layers? Love them. This was before we had the ladybug dies. Now we could even cut that up and add another dimensional. And then somebody gave me this adorable card. Look at this at the retreat. Uh, Cindy Clark. Yeah, Cindy. So cute. Look at that. Uh, I don't know. That's a fancy fold. We'll do that one day. But look, she used that adorable little rectangle stitched scalloped rectangle too. So, all right, hopefully I have given you enough reasons to get this bundle because it is the best. Um, remember that if you'd like to put an order in, in conjunction with Facebook Friday, here's the host code. It's also over on my blog and it's also here on the PDF. Um, the PDF is down under the last photo. And usually you have to have your order in by Monday at midnight, but this week you have until Tuesday at midnight in case you want some of those new celebration items. They will go live on Tuesday. Okay, so don't forget. And I'll send you these three for free. I have ordered lots of this paper so I can send everybody their make and takes. You guys, thanks so much. Don't forget if you want to subscribe to the All Star Tutorial Bundle that Saturday, tomorrow Saturday is the last day to do it. Um, all right, you guys, have a great weekend and I will be back next Friday at two o'clock. See you then. Bye-bye.